On the 24th of June 2016, the morning after the Brexit referendum five years ago, I was booked to do an interview at BBC Studios in Edinburgh to discuss the result and to analyse its implications and what it portended for the UK and the EU going forward. And driving me in a cab to the studio to conduct this interview was a Polish national, an EU migrant. And of course we were discussing what had just taken place. The issue, after all, was dominating everybody's thoughts. But I will never forget that at a certain point on the journey, he looked at me in his rear view mirror and said, what do you think this means for people like me? And at that point, I have never been more ashamed to hold a British passport because he understood, just as every other one of Britain's then 2 million EU migrants understood, that this project was never about restoring British democracy and sovereignty, as said, and was certainly never about unshackling plucky little put upon Britain from the nasty, tyrannical, monolithic hand of the EU in Brussels. It was and remains about the legitimisation of far-right tropes when it comes to immigration, when it comes to British identity, and when it comes to the representation and meaning of British history. Two million EU migrants living in this country, many of them being here for decades, married to British nationals, paying tax, bringing up families, all denied a vote in a referendum that was all about their status and standing and future. While British expats not living in this country not paying tax, got the vote. Bring on in the F2. Fuck Brexit and all who sell on her. Peace out.